Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install and configure JBX latest version that is 7.0 LTS version on Debian 12 operating system. Okay, first open web browser, then go to JBX official website that is jbix.com. See JBX 7.0 LTS now available for download. It is the all in one open source solution that lets you monitoring. Also see here monitor anything like see like network and server infrastructure cloud deployments api and websites services and applications iot devices and sensors okay click on download see here we have the jbx packages jbx cloud images containers appliance sources and agents okay select the jbx packages and select the jbx versions 7.0 lds and in the os distribution select the debian then select the version see i'm on the debian 12 so i have selected 12 if you are on 11 then select 11 okay so select 12 and in the jbx component select server front end and agent component then the prerequisites are database and web server so we are going to install not mysql we are going to install the mariadb it also supports i will show you how to install and configure mariadb for jbx okay then we are going to use the Apache as the web server. I will show you both the prerequisite before installing Apache JBX front end, JBX server front end and agent. Okay. So first we are going to install MariaDB. Then we will install the Apache. Open terminal. Then open new tab. Then go to MariaDB. MariaDB. Dot OS. Click on download, then select MariaDB repositories. Click on OK. Then select MariaDB server version. I am going to use 11.0. Otherwise, if you select this 11.1, 2, or 3, or the latest version, JBX won't support. So select the 11.0 or 10.11. Okay. So copy these commands one by one to install the MariaDB. Type 5 for confirmation and hit enter. It is done. Now create a directory for keyrings, then download control L. Now create this MariaDB dot sources file copy it sudo vi paste it now i2 insert mode paste all these lines copy paste it save the file now update the package repository is done now install the mariadb server see it will install mariadb 11 also see here you can now install mariadb 11 from the mariadb repository with this command okay so paste it hit enter type by for confirmation and hit enter We have successfully installed MariaDB. Control it to clear your screen. Now verify whether now verify the status of MariaDB. Sudo systemctl status MariaDB. See MariaDB 11.0 is installed and it is enabled and it is running. Q to quit. Control it to clear your screen. The first step after installing is we have to set the password for root account. Sudo you mysql or mariadb both are both will work so mysql hyphen u root alter user root at localhost identified by new provide the new password hit enter 
it is done we have set the password for root account all done see mysql is installed successfully exit now the ne next prerequisite is apache web server okay so install it by running the command sudo apt get install apache 2 type y for confirmation and hit enter see both installed now we have to install one more prerequisite that is php extensions so install it by running the commands i will keep this command in the video description type 5 for confirmation and hit enter it is going to install like cgi php cgi and modules it is done install one more command that is this is also done now install the jbx server front end and agent see again confirm you have to select jbx server version 7.0 os distribution debian os version then jbx component database mysql see we don't have the maria db so select mysql apache okay but the commands for maria db or mysql are same okay if you scroll down see here we have the commands to install the jbx and its components so copy this one by one copy paste it give the sudo at start tent this is done now now we have to install it copy this one sudo paste it hit enter now update the package sudo apt update now we have to install these components copy the copy it control l to clear screen sudo then paste it hit enter type five for confirmation and hit enter see jbx server front end and agent installed successfully now we have to create the database and jbx user for this jbx okay so connect to maria db control l sudo mysql hyphen u root hyphen p see it is saying mysql is deprecated okay so use the maria db maria db hyphen u root hyphen p then provide the password that we have set for root account okay now we have connected maria db so run these commands one by one copy paste it hit enter verify database is created or not show databases see database jbx is created now create the user copy it see here password is the password only if you want to give you other password but i am going with the same one paste it hit enter it is done now grant the all privileges to this jbx user on this database by running this command paste it hit enter it is done now we have to set global variable to one set it hit enter fit ne next we have to import the schema and data to this database so copy this one copy it paste it control a hit enter then we have to give the password see here now it is asking password the, so password is this is the password okay Without quotations, we have to give password. Give password. Hit enter. This may take two or three minutes. It is done. Next, connect to MariaDB again. See, we have to connect it, and we have to add the this global variable. So. Maria DB hyphen U root hyphen P. Now 
now copy this one paste it hit enter quit next step is we have to edit this jbx server config file and we have to give the password of this jbx user okay so copy from this forward slash copy sudo vi paste it hit enter search for db password hit enter home delete it shift a to insert mode give the password see i have given password for this epic user as password if you have given some other you can give save the file control l now we have to start jbx server and its agents so copy it paste it hit enter okay why it is asking password because i haven't given the sudo so cancel it cancel it so sudo and paste it and hit enter okay it is done now copy this one you sudo and paste hit enter it is done everything is configured successfully now we are going to configure front end by going to this one copy this one open new tab paste it before here host is host name find the host name see host name is db125 copy it replace this host with db125 or give the ip also everything is fine hit enter see this is the welcome screen for jbx 7.0 then click on see default language is only us english okay click on next see all prerequisites match because we have the status as okay see then click on next step here select the database as mysql then here host name you can give local host or simply give this db125 both are fine because maria db installed on this local host only if it is other then you have to give remote host name and port number for maria db is also 3306 database name is jbx only we have created user also jbx then provide the password for this jbx user that is password click on next step see password is this is the password okay so i have given the same one click on next step don't save then jbx server name jbx server name is local host okay because jbx is on, installed on this one only. you can give host name or local host then select the theme then click on next step see this is the pre installation summary so click on if you are okay with all these settings click on next step or if you want to modify go back and you can edit and come forward now click on next step see congratulations you have successfully installed jbx front end okay click on finish now connect to jbx dashboard by using the pass username admin here a must be caps otherwise it will throw error i will keep this username and password in the video description password is jbx with all small case okay click on sign in don't save see here system information jbx server is running jbx server version is 7.0 front end version also same okay number of hosts are one if you want to change the password of admin user click on users then select the users then click on admin then click on change password then here provide the current password of admin then provide the new password okay i am not going to change click on cancel see here we have the different options that i i will explain in other video okay so in this video we have seen how to install and configure jbx 7.0 ltis version on debian 12 for more jbx or monitoring videos please subscribe my channel thank you